It is the 4th, February 4th. Many of you will notice if you've been on the moon for quite some time, Valentine's Day is approaching and it's a pretty big deal. Oh, pretty no. big deal on the moon. Celebrated in all the traditional ways with candies and roses that are grown in pretty controlled environments, hot houses, greenhouses that exist throughout the moon's surface. Candies that are made from impossible ingredients uh, with suitors who compete with an ever escalating complexity of different candies. Some have come up with candies that are like a box of chocolates that has a flavor based off of the entire like part assembly of a motor vehicle, which includes rubber, chrome, and oil flavored chocolates. Some have chosen chocolates that embody the flavor of a hamburger disassembled, ketchup, mustard, beef, and lettuce, Ooh. as well as bread flavored chocolates. These are the types of games that people play on Valentine's Day on the moon. But that's off to the future for now. When we last left the group, uh, they were dealing with some things. Yes, they were. Like, to say the least, uh, we had unfortunate business of Jason Valley apparently being assaulted somewhere um, while trying to speak with an informant about the Wolf of Paradise case from roughly 40 years ago, four decades it's been. We had um, Marisol and Riza Giza go to check in on Lewis Clark, who seems to have fallen into a coma. And there was the attack on a monk in front of the uh, Temple of the Mechanical Lotus. Turns out the monk who was attacked is someone who disappeared two years ago. And the wolf was some kind of mutating stand attack. So, Roland, you know, um, Nia's situation is she's been on in trouble with her parents for the past few days uh ever since the events of the first arc season one whatever you want to call it uh her parents have been trying to get her to come home stop being a ghost hunter they've cut off her money and likely they've already they've told you to like either hunt her down or like i i do feel like roland knows that if he finds her it only takes like a a small scolding to, to get her to do what he wants I feel like they tell him to go find her and bring her back. So that is the situation. Uh, Nia has been kind of hiding out. If you were to go looking for her, you'd find a strange green version of Sweet Sangria that's been seen around <laughs> town. But it's uh, pretty beat up and weird looking. So Does it look like a clone? Yes. And it's just it's just around town. Would he find this clone? Where was it? It would be near. Uh, it would be near the Machine Temple, actually. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. He'd probably dismantle it. It's a weird looking, disproportionate car. He would hate it. Exactly. <laughs> I don't. He wouldn't. He has no idea if it has a purpose or a reason to be there. But he knows he doesn't want it there, especially at that temple. You'd like to, would you like to try to hunt down Nia Nova? Yeah, that's his current job. That's what he was tasked with. You, you sort of know where she could be, but in the event that she's not, because she doesn't have her usual uh, account on the repeater anymore. It's been um, it's clearly stolen been from her. If you go to ask a monk, what are you gonna, what are you gonna ask him? Just where is she? Yeah, he'll just, yeah, he'll just, he'll just, you know, I guess greet them as a brother, maybe. I don't, and ask him where they He's... are. <laughs> Greetings, brother. You wish to know the location of the loud one. <laughs> Has she been loud in here? Of course, many times, often, every time I've seen her. Loud, like a cat covered in bells. Yeah, that's the one. Where is she? She was here when the there was an attack outside. She and her friends helped to handle the situation. As to her current location, I do not know for certain, although I... I think I did hear them mention that they needed to visit a friend somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna, he's just gonna sigh and, and then bow to him very respectfully. Wait, there's one more thing. Don't leave yet. No. He stops the door. You know, a little overdramatic, don't you think? I'm sorry, I just don't get to talk to people much. You're lucky. Brother, I need to ask a favor. <laughs> One of our monks went missing two years ago. His name was Brother Shen. When the attack happened outside of the temple, footage taken by the Loud One seemed to show Brother Shen as if he were alive and well, looking almost the same as he did when he vanished. If you happen to see him, could you please tell him to return to the temple? Return to the temple? Yes. We Somebody... miss him dearly. 
somebody who wasn't here for a long time? Yes. You think he wants to return? We are not sure, to be honest. He was on good terms with all of the monks when he vanished. It, there seemed to be no reason for him to flee, and yet he has gone missing for so long. I see. Well, I'll do as you ask, of course. Thank you, brother. May the drift guide you along the path through the cosmic. And you as well. And then he just... He goes. As you're leaving, you hear him say, Well, it doesn't need to guide me far. I'm already here at the temple, and it's where I, I usually am. Where would Nia be? Oh, well, um, we wanted to go find a place to hide Jason Valley. I guess oh, you would go back to Desi's house? Well, if you're at Desi's house, uh, waiting to go look for a place, a, a better spot, a more permanent location to stash Jason for a bit. Nia would like to switch eventually, because she would like point out that they, they know of this place, and maybe Desi should like move his tree. What are you talking? I move the tree? Can you move your tree? What do I look like? The wizard from Fantasia? You seem like a magical man, and I'm asking you how good... Are you? Yes. The answer is yes. You seem like a wizard. Shut up. He just starts drinking. Oh, you're a very drunk wizard, though. I'm not a wizard. No. no more of a, 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 be a druid. I mean, it's a pretty awesome druid ability just to have, like, a house in a tree. I think your, tr your tree is real cool. It is cool. Don't touch my stuff or I'll throw I'm, a I... bottle at you. Okay, well, you prefer your, like, privacy right yeah if you move the tree less people will know where you are but won't they see the tree walking around and think that's a tree walking around i need to do something about that i mean yes but i mean it's a it's your stand right yes Can't you know you what well, like, my ghost goes invisible sometimes. Are you saying I should make the tree invisible? I I don't know. I don't know how you, it works. So, like, do, can you grow more than one? Like, you... you... Behold the power of Ty, a yellow ribbon. The tree, you can't see it because you're inside, but it lifts its branches, arm branches, and covers its, like, top. Almost like it's hiding its face. There. Now no one will know where I am. I I mean, I think you made it more obvious, but okay. Shut up. Do you want some acorns? Yes. Slides over a bowl of roasted acorns. Nia tries it. They taste like acorns. Nia uh, thanks him, but probably like the lemonade last more. Don't eat too many. Will I grow a tree in my stomach? No, you'll fart a lot. Oh, I, I, I guess that would be bad since we're all sharing the same space. Especially, if it is, I mean, I eat them all the time, so <laughs> not that bad for me. <laughs> I don't mind at all. He just, uh, with that, just shoves a handful of acorns into its mouth. I, I think maybe I should call Marisol, but I don't. Is you two here? I had to do something. He got Jason here for you. Okay, that um, means he took his phone with him. Does this tree have a phone? The tree does have a phone. It looks, it's made out of wood. It's carved out of wood. Uh, Mia attempts to use this tree phone. You pick it up and it's just uh, woodpecker sounds on the other side. Does it have numbers? No. <laughs> oh. Just woodpecker sounds. Okay, she, she puts it back on. She's kind of stuck here until like Marisol or something <laughs> Marisol's just outside, giving Sweet Sangria like a little car wash bath. Neil would, would would come down the tree. Marisol. Yes. I think we should maybe find, maybe go to my house. Why? Uh, well, there was an eyeball here, and though like you two probably checked out the place, they kind of know where this is now. Ah. Like I I assume we like talked about who we think it is okay she's just squeezing the sponge out in her hands i guess we can go sure well i just i'm just saying that i don't know what their response will be would 
we show up. Oh. But it's the only place I can think of that the eyeballs haven't been yet. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'll back you up if I can. Probably a nobody miscreant to them, but I'll back uh, up me anyway. Mia gives her a very far away look as if she's finally, like, considering Marisol from her parents' point of view. And, like, squirming a little, like, I don't... They might... They're very ELO, so... Yeah, I don't... Uh, well, I, just wanted, I just wanted to warn you, because I don't know what they'll say. She drops the sponge in the bucket at her feet. Honestly, uh, your parents don't intimidate me, considering what I had to go through not too long ago. Uh, let's go see these people. Marisol just favorite. takes a towel and starts like wiping off the windshield. We'll be ready to go in a sec. And I, I pop back up to see how our reporter is doing. It seems for the most part that uh, Jason is just avoiding Desi. He seems to be uncomfortable with Desi's general behaviors. Uh, you'll see Desi kind of just like shove aside a box of Jason's papers so that he can like, you know, fall over onto a spot. Like he'll just push the papers over and then fall. He, he uses he uses one of Jason's shirts as a napkin for his face. Oh, oh no. Hey, Jason, do you want to like come over to my <laughs> house? Your house? What do you mean? Well... I'm all my parents' house. I think it might be safer than here and less full of drunk men. Well, it isn't that I have a problem with uh, a roommate like this. It's just, uh, it's a little cramped. You all live here uh, normally? Not, not normally, uh, but, you know, when you're chased by, like, a couple vampires and, like, a, a serial killer, like, you know, it's... It's a home away from home where people can't see you. I see. This is a hidden location. Actually, it would be a pretty good safe house, except for uh, <clears throat> certain things. He kind of like waves a hand uh, by his nose. Uh, yes, I, I wouldn't mind, I think, uh, seeing your house. It's very kind of you. Okay, I just want to warn you that there may be a scene. What kind of scene? Uh, like a family drama, people telling me to play the violin sort of thing. Oh, goodness. Well, I understand what it's like to not get along with your parents, so I, I can try to be supportive. Oh, well, thanks. Marisol calls up to the tree. Hey, you guys ready? Yeah, let me just grab There's lots of papers and on the floor. Neil will help Jason grab his stuff. Yeah, he does. Uh, Simone... What are you, what what do you feel like you'd be doing right now? Would you would you actually be at that treehouse? Probably there. Probably still studying the uh, glass heart. There is like you did get a bunch of information. Trying to figure out how to open it safely. That kind of thing, pretty much. Your experiments into the heart that you're doing right now. You're trying to figure out a way to get the glass casing off without it being destroyed. It seems to be like possible with the right tools, but like the way that certain proprietary uh, machines and electronics are made these days. Like oh there's, yeah, you need like a certain type of tool to get the glass case to unlock, basically. Otherwise, if you try to use a tool that doesn't have these exact specifications, the thing will just like shatter and just do so inwardly to annihilate the heart. Aside from getting it off, though, the, the cables and ports that are connected to this thing, I mean, they, they do go into the heart as well. You can see that through the glass. So even if you got the casing off, it is still like uh, it's been modified, the heart. Are these cables at all similar to uh, what DJ Rabbit saw or what's on the zombies, rather? No, they're just they're just data ports. It's like a data port and a power port uh, connected they're, they are connected like on short wires uh, from the heart to the uh, out, you know, the exterior of the glass case. It's like a heart device of some kind, basically. We have managed to hook it up to a game and like people connect it. What I feel like we need is like a body to connect it to. So we need like a robot body or something. Science is up a robot body. <laughs> Yeah, just science up a robot body. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm going to need facilities for that one. You know how to make robots. Let's just get Jim to make one. He can do that. <laughs> so you guys can head towards Nia's house if you'd like uh, in Sweet Sangria. That's fine. 